Welcome back to the Tractor Tech Channel. I'm Roger. Hope you're having a great day today. If you've ever looked online at things, you notice that things go in trends. Like, for a while something will be good, and then all of a sudden, people don't like it anymore. Or, if you buy this, you need to upgrade that on it to make it reliable. Well, the latest trend I've been seeing on these Kubota BX tractors is about the diff lock. The latest trend is people are questioning the reliability of the differential lock on these Kubota BX series tractors. I've only seen one person online that has broken the differential lock and then a guy that works in a dealership said he's seen a handful of them broken. But the BX is a very, very popular selling tractor. So I'm sure it's a very, very small percentage of the differential locks that are breaking. So what is the differential lock? It is a mechanical device that locks both of your rear axles together for maximum pulling power. It is usually actuated by a pedal, but on some tractors, it can be push button. An example of where a differential lock is really handy is if you're trying to get up a driveway that has ice on one side and is bare on the other side. Not even four wheel drive is going to help you there. So if you use the differential lock, the tire that is in the bare side of the driveway will have traction so you can get up the driveway. For the differential lock to engage, you need to have a difference in speed between your left rear and your right rear tires. So a little trick that I've found is if I'm coming up to a place to where I know I'm going to need the differential lock, I'll go ahead and step down on the pedal and then I'll steer the tractor left or right. So that way I have a difference in speed between my rear tires and the differential lock will go in faster. And then once I'm done with the differential lock, you can let your foot off of it and steer and the differential lock will disengage faster also. You don't want to engage your differential lock while the rear tires are spinning or you don't want to have your differential lock engaged and be turning on dry pavement. Those are both good ways to destroy your differential lock. Now once you press down on the differential lock, you do need to keep your foot on it for it to stay engaged. So lately I've been seeing the question, how can I tell if my differential lock is engaged or is my differential lock disengaged? So you can look down at your pedal and if your pedal's down, your differential lock is most likely engaged. If your pedal is up, your differential lock is most likely disengaged, but that is not a foolproof method because if something is broken in the linkage, the differential lock could either be engaged or disengaged. I'm starting out with the differential lock disengaged. You can see the tractor turns very easily and does not kick up any gravel. So now with the differential lock engaged, you can see the tractor is kicking up the gravel and it does not want to turn. The turning radius is larger than what it was with the differential lock disengaged. So now I'm going to show you another way to check your differential lock. I have the tractor jacked up. It is in neutral. It's in two wheel drive and the parking brake is released. I have a helper holding the right rear tire and you see that I can spin the left rear tire so the differential lock is not engaged. Now I'm going to press down on the differential lock and there it engaged and you see my helper cannot hold the right rear tire now. I hope this video answers all of your questions about the differential lock. Thanks for watching and have a good week.